Roger Morantz and his wife Heather launched Marlin and Barrel just a few months before we launched River City Live. And like RCL, they've expanded and connected with the Amelia Island community and parts beyond with their distillations. We do something in every major liquor category except for uh, tequila or agave spirits. So uh, before we have uh, cellos, we have uh, a few different gins, uh, several uh, vodkas, uh, uh, whiskey, many rums, and Florida's first great bourbon. Creating those flavors is heavily influenced by their desire to showcase Florida's agriculture. But we do a lot of products with local ingredients. So uh, we work with a, a, uh, a small farm, family farm. They do pep peppers and then they do hot sauce, hot sauces with it. That, be that based ingredient goes into um, our uh, smoked pepper vodka. Up the road, about an hour and a half from here, uh, there's a third generation blueberry farm that, that goes into our blueberry lemon zest vodka. Which leads us to the crux of this conversation. This Sunday's It's Neat to Be Elite with Marlin and Barrel with a partnership with Yelp. We will provide, uh, you know, the same sort of experience that we do at, at the bar. Plus, we have all these enhanced tasters for uh, people's enjoy enjoyment. And then we'll also be doing several tours in the back, and I'll be leading those tours, talking both about our story, but also about the distillation process. Abbas is the brand director for m and He's mixing up some cocktails that can be regularly found at Marlin and Barrel, and you might be able to try them on Sunday. So yeah, so we have two cocktails here. Um, we'll always have a Bloody Mary. We usually do a Bloody Mary for most uh, events, and it's available at all times, really, because our smoked pepper vodka is our, one of our most popular products, if not our most popular product, it really speaks to um, how we're pretty versatile in what we do. Not You won't see too many other uh, spicy vodkas in the market, and we're lucky enough to have a vodka that's made locally and spiced with peppers that are grown locally by a local company, um, b and Hot Sauce Company. They're outside of Jacksonville. And then we also um, we appreciate bourbon and bourbon cocktails. Uh, this cocktail can be found at Estrella Jack's downtown um, Jacksonville, um, and it features our uh, straight bourbon. Also has a little banana liqueur, some lemon juice, and some mint. It's a really nice, refreshing cocktail that highlights the bourbon itself. Yes, please. Yelp Community Director Carla Doty talks about what it means for Yelp Jacks to have such a wide area from Amelia Island to St. Augustine to showcase so many local businesses. We live in an area where you can drive a half hour and get to St. Augustine, drive a half hour and go to Fernandina. And so we're showcasing just all these great local gems that you can go for a day trip or go on a weekend. She gives the specifics for this Sunday's event. So this event is on Sunday, August 14th, 2.30 to 4.30 at Marlin and Barrel. It's open to anybody that has a Yelp account and is 21 and over. So you'll need to register, but we'll have over four vendors here that are local to Fernandina. Plus we'll have uh, DJ Rants spinning the beats. Um, and it'll be a really good time supporting local and showcasing some really awesome local businesses that are up here in the Fernandina area. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live.